Hi, wig friends. Today I am going to fight the frizzies with you. Do you have a heat friendly wig? And the ends have gotten like this. You might think your wig's ruined, but I'm here to tell you it's not. There's a super easy fix and you're just going to need a few items. I recommend a blockhead for styling. This one is from wigs.com and it's 21 and a half inches, which is the same as my circumference. So I don't have to worry about stretching out my wig cap, which is fantastic. You're going to need on this one, since it's straight, a straight iron or a curling iron with an adjustable temperature. You want to use about 280 degrees. You're going to need a spray bottle with some water in it and a wig comb. So we're going to use these items and we're going to restore this wig back to its fantastic, soft, smooth fibers. I can't wait to show you. Okay, here we go. I am going to take my wig comb and just comb through the fibers and make sure that you get any snags or tangles out before you start. And then take your water bottle and mist the hair with water so that it's wet, especially where you're going to be working with heat. That will help protect the fibers as you're going to fight the frizzies with me. So the hair is nice and damp now. And then you're going to take your flat iron and it's going to sizzle, you guys. Like you're going to think you're frying a steak or something or a hamburger. <laughs> on a, in a fry pan, but you're not. You're just fixing your wig. So you grab a section of hair. Hear that sizzle? It's okay. As long as you have your heat, not over, I don't like to go over 300. I tend to use 270, 280 right in there. So you just go over the ends a few times where the frizzies were. And hear that sizzle? But see the ends? I don't know if you can see that. I'll lift them up. Compared to over here, where I haven't done anything, here's where I've gone over it a few times with the heat already. And you can see the difference where the fibers are starting to come back together and they'll be soft and not frizzy again once you go through and do the whole wig. And you really have to get used to the sizzle sound though. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy, I know, but... um. So I'm going to do this over the entire wig, and then I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, here's another spot where there's a lot of frizz. It's right here. I mean, I've been wearing this wig, you guys, for three months. I mean, I've worn it with collars. I've worn it out in the rain. I mean, I've worn it in the wind. So we got some frizz going on. But just wet the hair. Give it a nice, good soaking. Get your flat iron going and just go down the hair. And once again, I keep my heat at 280. Some people use 260. Um, don't go over 300 um, unless the manufacturer's recommendation says you can. You do not want to fry the hair. And do not do this on a regular synthetic wig. <laughs> this is only for heat-friendly synthetic, you guys. Definitely not for regular synthetic. But you can already see the difference how the fibers are flattening back out and the frizz is going away. Like here's a spot where I haven't done it yet. And you can see on those ends, they're frizzy. So we just put some heat on there and I just kind of go slow, go down a few times. It's like hair therapy, right? I mean, I'm kind of jealous of the wig mannequin. She gets to get her hair done. <laughs> and you're just gonna continue to do that all the way around your wig. Hey, I'm back and I wanted to show you how the wig is drying. And I didn't mention at the beginning of this, this is Raquel Welch Showstopper. Fantastic wig. If you want a low density wig, especially if you're just starting out your wig journey, this is a great option. It's lower density. It is super easy right out of the box. You can wear it back in a jaw clip. You can pin it up. It's a great wig to work with. And I'm really happy that she came into my wig world. So the fibers are drying on this. And I just wanted to show you how natural they move now. They were clumped together before. And look at that. They're totally soft again. We did it, yay. But I mean, this is like new again. 
I wish like that I wish that feeling came across in a video you guys because these are baby soft again so I just want to give a real quick recap for you guys that you're gonna want to use this is for heat friendly only I almost skipped that do not do this on regular synthetic heat friendly only use tools that have a temperature digital temperature on them and keep it around 280 or a little bit lower a little bit higher but not too high always use water before you do it and go slowly over the fibers and just take your time and restore your wig back to the way it was you'll love it and it's a super good tool for keeping your wigs looking fresh and new I'm back I forgot that I wanted to show the wig on I talked about it being low density and so I wanted to show how low density it is this is great hair especially if you don't want like a lot of volume it's fantastic and I wanted to show you how good the fibers are moving now how soft they are and how the frizzies are out so use heat on your heat friendly wigs to get them back to being soft and natural and thanks for joining me for fight the frizzy